Hello, this is Jared from Yellowwood Guiding, and this video is Editing Basics. We're going to talk about the very basics of photo editing. So some of the most simple aspects. Right now I'm in Photoshop CS3, but you can use just about any program, and we're going to talk about these aspects. I got a nice picture here that I took back in September of some elk fighting, and I'm using it here because it's not a perfect picture. There's some editing that we need to do. It's not exposed properly. So one of the great items about Photoshop and any editing program is it'll give you something here called a histogram just like your camera we're going to talk about the histogram a lot in these training videos but for the basic editing knowing what your histogram does and how it looks is really important there's some really interesting things up here in Photoshop you can look at it through all the color channels but I'm going to take it down here to colors because then I can see where all my colors exist I got some greens over here some blues on the other side the most important thing is I got a big gap on the right hand side over here and that tells me that I don't have many whites. The white should be right in this section, my midtone should be here and my dark should be over here. Shadows on the far left, highlights on the far right. And I've got an elk which generally has a very light tannish white behind and they don't. So we've got to fix that. So one of the great ways to do that is we need to move our histogram. We need to move it to the right and one of the great tools that you can use is called levels. So in Photoshop, you can hit Control L, it brings up the levels adjustment, and you have a histogram again. So we can go again, we can switch just any one color, but we're going to switch the whole thing. And with this right tab, we're going to draw this, and we're going to draw it over. And as you watch the histogram above, it starts to move, it starts to spread out. And that's what we're looking to do. We're starting to have our histogram spread across our image. A good quality image exposed properly is going to have a nice histogram across the whole range. And this is your dynamic range that your camera can capture. So we want to spread that out. And now we look at the picture. Here's the, the after, here's before. Big difference. It actually looks kind of like daylight now. It looks like it's close to being properly exposed. Now this other slider on the far side you can also take and bring it way down. This is your darks, the right side is the lights. You got a mid-tone for grays, you can adjust some contrast, but we're going to do that in another uh, little bit. So I got my adjustment here, I like it. Look at my histogram, it's now spread out very far. And if you'll notice there's spaces in between, like the teeth of combs. This is called a combed histogram. That's bad. For one aspect, we're losing data, we're spreading out some of our data. So we want to try to avoid that by getting proper exposures out in the field, but sometimes in the spur of the moment you just miss it. So we're going to take this and we're going to hit OK. The next step then from shadow or from levels is a feature called shadows and highlights. So we're going to hide our histogram here. And shadows and highlights is a really neat tool up in images and adjustments there's an option down here for shadow and highlight. I'm going to open it up here and bring it into the frame. I have mine set. All my settings are pretty small. Generally the radius you want to have below 20. The tonal width you want to have in between 5 to 15, maybe 20 percent. And the amount is the one that you're going to change the most. And what I want to do, what I want to affect is this area down here, these shadows under the groin area, some little bit in the main. We want to bring out those shadows. Now if you watch, you can really make it look like there's no shadows at all, but that also makes the main, that makes the animal look very plasticky. It doesn't look very real. So you're going to bring that down. And Photoshop is all about being subtle. Anytime you edit a picture, you want to be very subtle with that. So we're going to find where we like these shadows, where it doesn't look too fake. So it's a balance between the main looking natural and getting as much light as we can from under that region. So we're going to play with that and probably somewhere around 25. Now if we had a shot with a lot of highlights, if it was un overexposed, we could take out the highlights here. It doesn't do a whole lot because there's not many highlights in the picture. You can see it does a little bit to the back side of that elk. So here's before and then after. Not a huge change, but pretty good size. I'm going to reduce the shadows just a little bit. Looks like it's a little bit much. The last aspect that we're going to do is we're going to increase the contrast of this image. Uh, it's one of the great ways that you can really make your images pop and most cameras don't have much contrast in the images coming out of the camera. They're letting you do it in Photoshop or in any other editing program. 
So under image and adjustments, we're going to go down here to brightness and contrast. Now we can do uh, contrast adjustments in curves, but that's a little more hardcore. We're going to try the uh, basic stuff right now. So if you go to the contrast slider, you can just adjust this up. Now again, just like Photoshop and any editing, you can underdo your adjustments, you can overdo your adjustments. The trick is doing it just the right amount. So we're going to take a look here, and we're going to preview before after. You know, I can bump that up a little bit more before and after. Now I'm starting to get an image that looks pretty good. We're going to look at our histogram again. We got data spread all across our histogram. We could even maybe do another levels adjustment here and bring these whites out just a little bit more before and after. And that's some basic photo editing. We adjusted the histogram by levels. We adjusted the contrast by shadows and highlights. And then we did an overall contrast adjustment. So that's basic editing.